With only a couple of games left in the season, we go to the B Division for a very competitive game. It is the Zambronis against the Tropical Depression. Welcome to the RSHL, Daniel Wilson here, and it will be a big game for both these teams. Both of them currently tied for first place in the B Division standings, and the winner of this game is going to have a huge advantage on claiming the number one seed. So what is going to occur in this game? Well, you have a very tough Tropical Depression team looking very well with one player coming out of, out of the gates and leading in the points by a landslide compared to the rest of the team. But the bad news for the Depression is Sam Bonashovitz is not going to be in this game, so they're going to have to be relying on each other. Zambronis have melded in pretty well for the, for the B Division after being promoted from C Division la, um, last summer. So, what is it contributing to that? Well, it's going to be down to their speed. So, we'll see if they can put that into their game today. So, let's go to the breakdown. We'll start with the Zambronis, and I'm going to watch Chris Martinez for this game. Five goals, three assists. Coming in with eight points. Like I said, using that speed to get into the attacking zone and uh, I do have to know there is one big absence in their lineup Kevin Dars currently out with an injury and he is the points leader of the team so Chris Martinez would be your next best bet on trying to win this game for them for the tropical depression I'm gonna be uh, watching for Tim Corrigan if you're going to be going up against a team with with speed, you got to try to match theirs. And I do believe Tim Corgan has that as well as the stick handling skills to get by them. Of course, with Banashovitz out of the lineup, uh, they're going to have to be relying on each other. And mo most notably, if he's absent from the lineup, their play dwindles. So this will be a huge problem for the Depression with him out of the lineup. So with that out of the way... It's time for the ball drop, and it is next. Officials for this game, Greg Parlanti at center, and looks like it's going to be uh, Ryan Hooks. And off we go in this B Division matchup. As the Zambronis are trying to get off to a fast start with the Tropical Depression, just push it right back. Back and forth they go. Corrigan trying to push it back across. Unable to. A few six checks here. They come the other way. Sets up a shot, and that one goes wide. Uh, Jim Trebus. Trebus has been doing outstanding this season. Here's a slap shot. That is blocked. Back to the point. It'll dump it right back down. Yeah, yeah, Over in the left corner, trying to fight off a defender and now decides to go on the other side. Back to the slot and that one wide of the net. Back on the circle, Corrigan will pick it up for the depression off a stick. Zambronis are still on side. Back on the outside towards the corner, going into the circle, it can't get through a defender. And they will just push it back across the line. And both teams will get a change. And the uh, Depression trying to catch him on the fly. As he'll attempt a shot. There's a save. As the Zambronis try to restart. Unable. Backhand shot. That is blocked. Another chance. And that one is stopped. Nice job, guys. Thank you, guys. Oh, good. Oh. Now to do that the whole game. Zambronis win the face off, trying to hold back, and now will push it upwards. But unable to get through as Aquilano pushes it back in. And here they come back the other way. 
Sorry pushes through, but as Aqualana away, he does get away for just a moment, but it is defended very well in the slot. Another one, and that may have got the leg of Aqualano. Aqualano trying to look for it. Here he goes! Dave Story with the first goal of the game, two minutes in. Story was at the right place at the right time, setting up just. On the other side of the net, there is no way that Trevis could have reacted that fast. So Bonder trying to clear out. That hits someone in the back. Here's a chance, and that one goes high wide. Story again. That one just a little high. He'll cycle around. Holds up in the shot. Takes one. The low roller just nearly missed the far post. Watch your back, Off a few sticks, does find Fox. Tries to center, oh, almost got it to Coop Elias, but it was unable to settle down a hot ball. Now battle along the boards, will go to the left corner. Depression still have control. On the left circle, now will try to dump back to Fox. Centers up, can't find his man. Few yeah, six flash as the Zambronis do push it across. Bonder forced to retreat. Does dump it back down the floor. Zambroni's trying to pick up control, but into the hands of the opposition. Here's Corrigan towards the slot that's blocked. He tries to get another one, but unable to handle the pass. But he does pick it up on the boards, drops it over. Beat him, Dave, beat him, Dave, beat him, Dave. Towards the left end boards. Right trying to up, circle boy. around, and now it goes behind the net, going back to Corrigan. And takes a bump and looks like Corrigan's hurt. He is holding his his left arm. That's bad news for the depression. Yeah, Corrigan trying to get to the bench. He is unable. So bad news for the depression as Corrigan is to the bench and now a whistle. That might have been offside, but Corrigan was. I couldn't tell if he was trying if it was on his arm or in his stomach. I couldn't really see, but it, yeah, it looks like he may have had uh, the wind knocked out of him. We'll try to find out about that. Yeah, you can hear him coughing over there. That pretty much tells me that he may have taken something in the gut. As that ball goes out of play, they'll bring it back into Zambroni zone. And toss up goes to the depression, trying to look for an open man, unable. And here come the Zambroni the other way, three on two. On the left circle, shot rolls wide. Try to look for a connection, unable. Here come the depression back the other way, but is knocked back in. Back around the boards as they do connect. And here's a breakaway the other way for the depression, but a good defensive play. Can he hold on for long enough? And a save made. The defense just bought him enough time. Just bought enough time for him to make the save. Offside, offside. As the Zambronis will go back and reset. Good, good, good. And we'll cross the line. Has to go through two white jerseys, forced to the left oh, corner. Sir. We'll circle back. Tries to hold on, now tries to go back to the point, unable, blocked. Decides to go behind the net, trying to look for some help. They go to the opposite corner, swatted away by Trebus, goes behind the net. And down there. here's a chance here, can't get a shot off, and now here it comes, and a block. Three white jerseys in the slot, but kept in play. They'll just dump it to the left corner. As they'll try again on the attack, tries to go slot, knocked away. And they'll try to dump it out. Love down, unable to get through. Here's another shot, goes high of the net. A lot of control from the Zamboni so far. Keep it on, keep it on. Good tip. Keeping up that pressure, they'll go to the right corner, behind the net. 
pressure will make a change on the fly. Oh, but here's another what's going to be a partial breakaway. It doesn't have enough time to it's the attempt, though. But let's get to an overman backhand. Did he get it? Yes, he did. Save. Oh, they have requested to stop the clock. What do we, what do we got? A, oh, we got a penalty, penalty being called against the Zambronis. It's a hook. Hey, one off! All right, I let go of the stick. When he grabbed it, I let go. Whatever. I didn't see what happened, but Brian Hooks makes the call. And so the Zambronis will be down a man. And it ends up being Terry Smith, number nine for the Zambronis. And the uh, Depression get our first power play of the game. Crosses over, finds the man. That's Michael Smith, partially blocked. Uh, redirect, and that is an easy save with the stick. Corgan towards his slot, goes towards an open man, unable to get a shot off. Zone, guys! We'll try again, but it is cleared out by the Zambronis. And that will kill time on the clock. 30 seconds gone on this power play. Over to Corrigan. Top shooter of the team. And he didn't get all that one. That's an easy block down low. And by the way, uh, according to my stats, that would be... Story's uh, first of the game or first of the season um, under number 92. Here come the other way, getting double teamed. And good work on the PK unit. Walks across, and here they come one more time, but once again, clear. This first period has been. And firm control of the Zambronis, both on offense and defense. And resetting now, Dean Clifford will clear it back out once again, and Aquilato forced to retrieve the ball from its own end. And they got time for one more chance on this power play. Tries to go to center, but intercepted by the number four, which would be Chris Martinez. Around the boards as they get ready to get their man back. And Fox with control, pass across, and Smith is out of the box. Back to full strength we go. Looking for an opening, and a shot by Fox goes wide. And kept in by Chris Ashley for the Zambronis. Ashley once again, now across it over. Now, I'm, I'm looking at the number 92. That does not look like Dave Story. In fact, uh, I look at my stat sheet again, and that's actually Ryan Doolittle. Because that's formerly uh, Dave Story's number, but it looks like he's changed over, and the stat sheet so shows that he is now number 29. Now Doolittle the other way. Now, here's actually going wide. And it's love, it's love. Oh, Saved down low by Trebus and the call Fox the other way. Trying to connect, unable, leaves it for Corrigan, but it got bumped on the way. Is that a high stick? I don't see it. Nope. They say no high stick. And going for a quick attack here. Dave Bingham. Wide to the slot. Saved by Trebus. Still loose in the slot. And it'll pop out for Kyle Fox to clear out. Does get it across the line, and Terry Smith forced to retreat. And the uh, depression will just push it right back. Stick lift by Corrigan, trying to buy some time. Steal the other way. Over to Corrigan, shot, save. Great save by Dave Story, and that is the one who's in the net. So no wonder why I got the numbers mixed up. Dave Story is in the one in the net. Getting the points, 
And tries to clear over to Corrigan, and that one goes wide of the net. Story has been making some big saves. Go the other way, and somebody lost their footing. Here they come. Going to this slot. Try to shot, save by Trevis. A great chance by Dave Binga, but a greater save by Trevis. One by the depression. We'll play off the boards. But stolen away is Ambroni still with control. They have been doing a great job on the four check. They do break across this time, but prevent the two on one. Depression reset. Gets around Bingham. We'll play off the left end boards. Fighting his way around Dean Clifford. Clifford does get it away and puts it down the floor, but it is an icing. Toss up back to the depression, shot by Smith, and that's blocked with a minute remaining in the first period. Holds back, tries to shot, that's blocked. Back down, unable to clear, but the Zambronis do push across anyway. They try to make a two-on-one break, unable. Good awareness by the defense, and now the Depression get their chance the other way. Off the boards. We'll take it to the right circle, trying to fight his way around the number 80, Jesse Sharon. We'll take it to the right corner. They'll play it back from the point and we'll dump it all the way around the boards. But that will be in the hands of Joe Daner, number 44. Now fighting his way through and here comes Chris Martinez the other way. With 10 seconds remaining, try center up, unable to get his man. Maybe time for one more chance for the depression the other way. It's Smith, shot, low roller and a save. And he will cover and that will end the period. So, a lot of control from the Zambronis, and that earns them a one nothing lead. Definitely could have been bigger, but that's how we go into the first intermission. We get ready for the second period. Ryan Doolittle with the lone goal of the game so far. But possession time has been in favor of the Zambronis for quite some time, but that's mainly thanks to their four checking. As the depression will end up with control. And um, I said it was Doug Bonder, but it's actually a Rhino Quinn. I, with the depression wearing the white jerseys. Whoa, and that one just on the outside of the net. With the uh, white, the new white jerseys for the Depression, I tend to mix them up with uh, zombies from the C Division. That's actually Ryan O'Quinn I'm talking about, the number 19. As they will play around the boards and over towards Tim Kratzky. Daner with control, but bench warning him of some danger. And they will play upwards over to Doolittle. Now a race between him and Fox. Fox wins the race and it's back to Aquilano. And once again, it's it back. They're offside though and are forced to tag up and the Prussians are also still offside. But here's a chance by the Zambronis with the four check. But they once again give it away and now they finish their change and the Depression can attack. Fox with control, shot. That one just wide. O'Quinn moving in, and here's a shot, and that one I think may have been tipped away by Story in net. Out it goes, and it will be an icing unless he can beat it. No, he cannot beat the line.
And one by the Zambronis, back to the point. And they'll just dump it back down the floor, and another icing. Depression win this face off and off a bunch of bodies. Centers one up and knocked away. Good defensive awareness in the slot. Now here's another chance. That's a save by Story. They'll round it out and goes over towards Derek Holt. Knocked back in by Smith. And taken down and a penalty will be called. And it is interference. Make it count, Green! So Michael Smith is the one called for the penalty and the Zambronis will get their first power play. And toss up, Bingham with control for the Zambronis. Back to the point. Holds up on the shot, takes it and it's blocked and it ends up on the Zambroni bench. For control, it's going to go back to Bingham. He lets it go. He'll get a return though. Here's a shot saved by Trebus down low. And they're just waiting for the change to complete for the depression. That's Kevin LeBlanc coming in. Here's another shot. That one's blocked. And they attempt to clear impossible. Nope, it's not going to be a breakaway for Corrigan as it'll reach Story. Oh, bad turnover. Shot saved by Story. Second chance. Oh, another one. That almost being a costly turnover. And here they come the other way. Two on one. Try to set her up. That's blocked. Bingham with control, he can't handle it. And the depression are just gonna dump it back in. And from behind the net, it's gonna have to deal with some defense. Jesse Sharon moving in. Back to the point as they attack shorthanded. They're knocked away, Chris Martinez with control, but they're offside. As we approach 20 seconds remaining on this power play, if they can hurry to the to the dot, they can have one more chance. And one by the Zambronis. Do they have enough time to get a chance on? If they can hurry, they can. And try to set her up. But here comes Smith out of the box. But he has to tag up before he goes on the attack. Now along the boards, knocked away by Fox, but an offside. One by the Zambronis, but quick control went off of somebody. And here comes Brian Slice, but he gets blocked off and it'll go back to O'Quinn. Yeah, we can't play conservative. Way too early. O'Quinn holds up, takes a look, and will pass out to LeBlanc. Kyle Fox takes the outside route into the left corner. Takes a look, tries to go to Slice. That's blocked, but it will head over to LeBlanc. Centers to Slice. Shot saved by Story. Oh, uh, story! It's by a balloon. He doesn't realize it, but he. Wake up, Green! Come on! He hears his teammates warn him, and he gets down and pretty much saves a goal. That took a weird bounce and just somehow ended up beneath the pads of Story, and he didn't even know it. 
as LeBlanc trying to fight off some back checking as the green jersey is trying to move in and now here's Slice in the corner it will be picked up by Terry Smith but he gets it back over to Brian Slice both of them battling for control here's Corrigan tries to go back to the point Aquilano will push it back in and they're fighting for control over at the bench picked up by the Zambronis and they'll just dump it out. O'Quinn trying to force it back. Everybody tags up. They'll just dump it back in and Smith will just hold up behind his net as both teams make a change. Weak pass, almost easy pickings. They'll just dump it back down the floor. They'll be picked up by Terry Smith. He does get across the line, so the uh, suppression forced to tag up. Kratzky will play it off the boards and over to Ashley. Right side, just outside the circle. Getting double teamed, there's a shot from the point, goes high at the net. And now here's Bingham, will push it to the corner. Chris Martinez will give a return over on the left circle. Tries a shot that is blocked. And they will just backhand it out just weak enough to prevent an icing. Coming, coming, coming! And Kratzky tries to get it away. He does. You're good! Back to RJ Aquilano. As we approach six minutes remaining in the second period, we are still in a one nothing game. Kratzky with a good play on the four check, but they do get it across anyway. Terry Smith, bad pass, but he does get to his man anyway. Dave Bingham looking at some defense. And tries to backhand it, and that reaches Jim Trebus. He'll get credit with a shot for that. Sharon trying to get away from Corrigan. And that hits the glove of Trebus. Second chance. Save by Trebus. I saw one green jersey raise his hand. He thought he he thought that went in. That was Dean Clifford that thought it, that thought it went in. Off the draw, and quick shot, he scores! Quick draw on the draw! It is a goal for Chris Martinez. Or was it? No, that's actually Dave Bingham with the goal, I believe. Because I think it was Martinez on the draw. But that was quick reflexes. That is how you do a quick draw. And off the boards as the Zambroni come out with a two goal lead. As the Depression just looking for any kind of offense, but they've been running into a strong defense. Off the outside, tries to shot, partially blocked. Shot coming from Joe Diener. That one just misses. As we approach four minutes remaining in the second, that's just past the line offside against the Zambroni. Depression reset, does get across too little. Looking at Clifford, holds up, backhand that is intercepted, back down the floor, stopped by Trevis, and we'll leave it for Kyle Fox. Off the boards once again, Brian Erdman. Trying to break through one more time, and once again, down the floor it goes. And our race between Doolittle and Fox. He'll get it around the boards over to Bill Nowicki. Hadn't seen him much in the game lately. Here's a shot by Clifford that is blocked. As Daner tries to move in, but cut off by Nowicki, he'll play it upwards. And now here he is. Derek Holt the other way, but he runs into traffic and back down it goes. They are doing a penalty kill style style of play so far in the past couple minutes. And we don't have anybody in the box right now. And it is an offside against the depression. <laughs> Guys. Uh, 
Zambronis win this one. The wiki will backhand it, does get across the line, and they will just force it back. They'll walk it up or to Corrigan off a of body, but does get the slice. Slice with a shot and a save down low by Story. Up in the air, he's gonna pick this one up. Pops the stick, does keep the line though, but they do finish off the play. And back down it goes, the Zambronis back with control. Oh, cross it over with two minutes remaining in the second. Off the boards, over to Bingham. And Corrigan moving in, breaks through. Tries to get through O'Quinn, but forced towards the boards. Tries another shot, safe on the post! They hit the inside of the post, no goal! Good keep by Kratzky, shot high and wide. Back over to Smith, and a potential breakaway partial. Nope, it's gonna be knocked back. And Corgan forced to hold up to tag up. And a shot by Corgan, blocker save. Terry Smith trying to push it back down the floor. Runs into traffic, does find a friendly face, though they're running into trouble as well. Back the other way, they tag up. Kratzky over to Ashley. One minute remaining in the second. Tries a shot, that is blocked. In the slot, centers up, shot! Oh, he missed it high! And he'll just clear down the floor and an icing against the depression. Keep it rolling. 45, finish hard, go! You can tell that the frustration of the depression is starting to build up. They're getting the chances, but that defense is just continuing to get in their place. Off the draw, back out it goes as Clifford chases it down. One white jersey following him. He'll be forced behind the net. Gets away for just a second and will reverse back behind the net. 15 seconds remaining in the second back period. Up, help him out, back up. We'll play off the boards over to Doolittle. It does stay in play. They'll just push it back in and hold it, hold it, hold they are it. just not going to bother. They'll kill the remainder of the clock and we will head to the second intermission with a 2 nothing lead for the Zambronis. So Bingham with the goal to put him up 2 nothing, Zambronis. Third period is about set and the depression still looking for any way to break through the defense which has been holding up very strong for the Zambronis this game. Off the board from Sharon intended for Joe Daner and now a race between him and Michael Smith. Smith tries to play around the corner and does connect over to Cooper Elias. Down the floor and now he'll go for a race between him and Clifford. And Clifford cuts him off. And now both of them battling for control. And they're going to whistle this one down and take a face off. And well, he really put some strength into that face off, didn't he? Down the floor and it's chased down by Michael Smith. And he'll just dump it back down the floor, and for some reason, they take an icing. And one by the Zambronis here is Kratzky. Tries a shot, stick save by Trebus. Centers up, oh. another save. And, oh, bad turnover. Chance, that goes high. Kevin LeBlanc, back the other way forward to depression. Connects over to Corrigan, it went off the shaft of his stick though. Wasn't very well controlled. Intercepted by Daner, trying to get around Michael Smith once again. He gets control and tries to get to an open Doolittle, but he is going to go to the corner. Blocked by Michael Smith. 
swatted away, but it'll go back over to the Zambronis. Tries a shot from the point that is blocked. Didn't get all that shot. And down the floor it goes. Terry Smith and Brian Slice for control. It'll go around over to Kratzky. But it turns over to Nowicki. Now we have possession battles all around. But off at the foot of Nowicki, they do get it back across the line. Around over to Doolittle. Doolittle hold it up, try center for Martinez, intercepted by Corrigan. Back the other way for Kevin LeBlanc. Got two sandwiching him in the slot. Shot save, rebound, and another save by Story. <laughs> and Kratzky tries to play it up. That's blocked, and Nowicki tried to shot that is blocked. Depression, back with control. Nowicki tries a slap shot that is blocked. And Nowicki does get it back in on the four check, but it is an offside. Martinez didn't get back to the line in time. One by the depression, but a good steal by Martinez. Facing two defenders, Nowicki and Erdman. Tries to center up off a of body, and that shot just a little wide. Point, point Ashley up, with control up. from the corner. Tries to center up, intercepted by Nowicki. And now tries to center up, knocked away. Back it goes over to depression zone. Depression, going to try, have, they're gonna have to try to find any angle they can. Back over to Fox, a little too far on the pass, over to Jesse Sharon, he'll push it back in. Erdman, back up. Depression one more time. He'll go towards the slot. Fox, waiting and now plays it upwards. Intended that one for the number 22, Derek Holt. Really picked up by Bingham, back the other way. He'll just up out down the floor, no way. Oh, this is gonna be a nice thing. I thought somebody had touched it, but Brian Hook says otherwise. And another win for the Zambronis, but a quick turnover and a save by Story. Story has been doing a spectacular job in that. He came into the game with a pretty good uh, goal against average of a 2.17. And um, despite an average 88.96 save percentage, the He's only faced an average of about just over 20 shots per game. And over to Ron Hecht in the right circle, backhanded, and another save for Story. Pretty much the best that they can do is just keep fighting and try to develop some cracks in the defense. Here's another shot, that one just a little wide. And he'll play off the boards. So Daner taking a stick check by Tim Corrigan, but it stays with the Zambronis. Do a little drop pass. Holds up on it as he is getting it. Back check, staring off the boards. Try to center one more time, backhands. Try to look for a tip, but it's swallowed up by Trebus. Okay. 
One again by the Zambronis, another shot just wide. Daner with control, looking for possession, but it's gonna be a battle for control. Looking for some help. Does pop out, but in control of the depression. They'll cross over, trying to avoid Terry Smith, centers up, intended for Elias, and that's wide. And a good block by Aquilano. Back down it goes, up in the air, into the possession of Daner. Back down the floor as the depression will make a change, trying to hold on for possession while everybody tags up. Shot from the outside and it hits the post. Centers up one more time and that's blocked. Looking for another chance, another one and that's tipped. Back over to Brian Slice, centers up, nobody there. Tries one more time, that is blocked. Back over to Aquilano, he'll backhand it across. That's intercepted by Chris Martinez, but he's gonna have to deal with Brian Slice. It does pop out back across the line. Michael Smith trying to clear it out, unable. Back to Chris Martinez. Martinez centers up for Kraski, takes a poke check. And now we go back the other way, three on two. Crosses, shot, six say by Story. And it's gonna be LeBlanc and Martinez battling in the corner. Takes a stick check. They'll go behind the net and back over to Ashley. Ashley looking at three defenders, unable to get around Aquilano, but Martinez holds the line. Ashley, try to center up, nobody there. Picked up by LeBlanc. Intended that pass for Kyle Fox. Juggled by Dean Clifford. Here's a shot by Slice. Oh, that one hits something on the way, but Story still makes the save. Yeah, yeah. Well, now the depression are starting to feel momentum swing their way. They're starting to get those opportunities, but they only got less than five minutes left to get those two goals. Back over to Erdman. Tries a shot through traffic, that's blocked. He'll pick it up one more time, drops it back to LeBlanc. LeBlanc tries center, nobody available. Tries again, intercepted. And he'll play it off the board. Daner, and finished off by Bingham. If he can hurry, he can get a chance on net. Force the outside, tries a shot off the outside of the net. It is Erdman and Bingham in the corner. Bingham still with control, tries to shot, that's blocked by Nowicki. Tries to center up one more time. He'll go back behind the net over to Nowicki. He'll play it upwards to Hecht. Left over to LeBlanc. Yeah, but stick check back over. Here's Corrigan with a shot, high and wide. And Hex lost his footing, trying to get another shot. Back to the... Back to the point, over to Hex. Try to center one more time, that is blocked by Joe Daner. Here is Bingham back the other way. He'll try to go for a poke check, but he'll end up in the possession of Nowicki. Holt does cross the line, but Kratzky will push it back. Depression, we're gonna try again. And Corgan just decides to jump back, and back down the floor it goes. They're gonna have to try to stop doing the, the dump and chase because all that's doing is wasting their time. And Nowicki will try to pass up, intercepted by Sharon. Centers up to Doolittle, tries shot, that's blocked. Off the safety netting, but it is out of play. And we are approaching the three minute mark. We will be at a stop clock. So the clock has now stopped at the three minute mark. Won by the Zambronis, back over to Kraski. Shot wide of the net. Rebound and that one covered up by Trebus with 2.53 remaining. And the depression will call a timeout. Yeah. So now the Zambronis 
right. are just trying to uh, kill the exactly. remainder of that clock or as much as they can. Uh, I'll do the last two. The depression did have, have momentum for quite some time, but those, but those shots have just been either through traffic or some spectacular saves by Dave Story. Now, from what I saw, they don't have San, uh, San Batashovitz in, in the lineup tonight. He is the points leader by a long, by a long shot. And I didn't uh, even see Davis Farrell in the lineup. Uh, so, at this point, the best guy they have is Tim Corgan, and he's coming in with eight points. So that pretty much tells me that uh, they're going to have to try to start relying on each other. Because uh, Bonashovitz was their best scorer, and without him, they are just bringing a knife to a gunfight. They're coming. They're going to come Yeah. They're going to come guns blazing. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, get back. You're out there. You ain't got it. You're going to walk. Let's go. As for the Zambronis, they are currently without Kevin Darst due to an injury. And their best shooter is Chris Martinez. Five goals, three assists. Back to the point. Intercepted, but it's back up in the air. Terry Smith tries to get it back on, but back the other way for the depression. He'll go over to Fox. We'll keep an eye on Trebus and Nets. Back down the floor, O'Quinn. Back to retreat. O'Quinn taking a look. Now we'll play it upwards over to Kyle Fox. And now we'll play deep to the right corner. Fox tries to set her up. Nobody there. And the uh, Zambronis will just dump it back. O'Quinn once again chasing it down, looking at Doolittle. Now plays up to Michael Smith, but he's got to look out for her. Actually, off the boards. And the Zambronis once again just trying to kill that clock. And now Trebus is heading for the bench. They're bringing on an extra runner. So an empty net. And here comes Fox. Shot that is blocked. Sharon with control in his own corner. He'll play around the boards. Off the safety netting. And now here they come the other way with an empty net that is blocked and it'll roll wide. Michael Smith is going to have to hurry because here comes Doolittle. Doolittle trying to go for the empty net. And you hear them shouting for control. Here's Corrigan. Bounces off. And now an offside against the Zambronis with 120 remaining. And back over to LeBlanc. Tries to go off slice, but it went off his foot. Back down the floor, and it will be LeBlanc with control. LeBlanc looking at Martinez. He's going to go for a deep pass. It does cross the line, though, so that forces the Zambronis back. Here is Corrigan with a minute remaining in regulation behind the net. Corrigan fighting for control off the boards, and it will be an icing. With 51.2 seconds remaining in regulation. So they currently have Slice, Erdman, Corrigan, Elias, and LeBlanc. Trying to see who their sixth runner is. Back to LeBlanc, and a stick save! Behind the net, they'll play off the boards. Back down the floor, but it will be another icing. 40 seconds remaining. Back it goes. And back down the floor it goes, but they're gonna have to hurry. They're not gonna whistle this one. Up in the air, it's gonna leave it over to an empty net. And a good block, but they're gonna have to hurry. Back over to Slice with 22 seconds remaining. They gotta score now. The block with a shot on the outside of the net. He scores! Now they have got to get 
on the attack quickly. Toss up for control. They got to get to the offensive zone quickly. Oh, not good as Sharon now has control. Tries to clear. Here's another shot by Elias. That's why then. Can they get one more? They got to shoot it one more time. It's blocked and that will do it. Sam Brody can't wait with a 2-1 win over the depression. Some great goaltending and net. Some great defense. And that will give the Zambronis a much needed win in the standings. And with that win, we'll put them at six and two, or, and now we'll give them the lone lead, but they don't quite have the number one seed just yet. They still need either a win or another depression loss to claim the number one seed. We'll be back with a wrap up. It was a great effort to fight back, but ultimately the speed and the defense of the Zambronis was just too much for the depression to handle. They did manage to get one goal in the last minute of the game, but as I said, with that show is in the lineup, it's really affecting their offensive play. So they're going to have to start trying to share the ball with each other to try to build up their, their scoring. As for the Zambronis, they, even though they haven't quite got the number one scene yet, they can now clinch it with a win themselves or a depression loss. And of course, if we head into a tiebreaker, it'll go down to who has the most goals, uh, which will be determined at the end of the regular season. So that'll do it for this week. We have one more game in the regular season. This is Daniel Wilson. We'll see you next time around. The RSHL is supported by AllBlackHockeySticks.com. The stick of choice for many players of the RSHL is a very light and durable stick for only $89. AllBlackHockeySticks.com.